Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 11 of Let's Play Dynasty Warriors 4 Extreme Legends, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, so for this mission, I'm going to be playing as Huang Guy of Wu, which has been the first character I ever played as when I started my Dynasty Warriors 4 Let's Play, and first level 10 weapon I ever gotten. In 208 AD, Cao Cao led his massive fleet down to Changjiang on a campaign to take the Southern Territories. Meanwhile in Wu, Sun Quan was convinced by Zhou Yu and others to confront Cao Cao rather than yield. However, the Wu forces were greatly outnumbered by the enemy. As Zhou Yu contemplated his strategy at the main camp, Wu officer Huang Gai approached him secretly with a plan. In order to deceive the enemy, Huang Gai told Zhou Yu that he was ready to sacrifice himself. To deceive the enemy, Huang Gai knew he must first deceive his allies. After that, the veteran general would head to Cao Cao's camp and accomplish the greatest mission of his illustrious military career. Of course, since this is a stealth mission, you're not allowed items or bodyguards. Now, unlike Zhu Rong's stealth mission and Diao Chan's uh, stealth mission, which we done later in the LP, this mission is strictly stealth, meaning you're not allowed to engage any enemies at all. Well, to get the level 11 weapon, you had to get from point A to point B, within like 3 minutes and 30 seconds. In other words, don't get caught at all. So Wong Guy's level 11 Shade is a level 19 Peacock Urn, level 17 Speed Scroll, 14 Elixir, and 16 Herbal Remedy. Remember, when you were unlocking this weapon, if you unlock this weapon of course, you did not have a Speed Scroll because you were not allowed to equip anything. Therefore, you weren't as fast. So these are the units you gotta worry about in patrol. There's Zhou Tai, Lu Meng, Gan Ning, Shang Pu, and Ling Tong. You gotta pay attention to these patrol units, and, you know, don't be too reckless. I hear your bombs can also help. Good. That should be enough. I am counting on you, Huang Gai. Take him away. One guy isn't here. He's deserted. To receive the enemy, we must begin with our allies. I must reach the enemy camp without anyone knowing. Okay, so for this, make sure you're very cautious and pay attention to the patrols. I believe Joe Tai will eventually go north, so be careful. Yeah, he's in for the stronghold area. I'm guessing my arrows could work here. You know, this is on normal mode. Okay, it was alerted by a sound. So it's heading in the direction of the bomb. Uh oh, they see me! Well, so much for Going total somewhere. stealth. So if you get caught, you have to fight. Allow me passage! As you can tell, I'm not the best stealth guy out there. In fact, I might actually be one of the worst. Actually, there are much worse there than me. So because, you know, you're part of this uh, batter body scheme, you know, to make sure that one guy can succeed in the fire attack, you start with very low health. this deadlock? Yes! There, remember my charge attacks are even stronger than normal. Normally you're supposed to, like, not fight anyone, that's why the officers are stronger. I guess when you defeat the officers, the gate will open. Alright, I think I can squeeze between Lu Meng and Ling Tong. Return to the stronghold? For some reason, they went right past me, or behind me. So I'll try my best to sneak a little what bit. Is your business oh, he caught point. me. So I guess I gotta fight Don't Lu Meng, too. To let me pass, do you? That's bad. I got caught by every single officer so far. Maybe Ling Tong hasn't seen me. I can only 
hope. Charge out of the stronghold. Yeah, he's eventually gonna see me too. That's why I need to defeat Lu Mong now. Please drop some health for me. Like, even if it's just for a pity fight. These guys won't leave me alone. Maybe Ling Tong hasn't been alerted of me yet. But he's been chasing me. Yep, and I got sighted by the defense force. Right, get through the gate. Gan Ning should be patrolling next. So just get onto that boat and you're good. Alright, it succeeded, but you get like a red warning because you had to defeat some of your officers. You would have gotten like a blue one if you did not fight anybody at all. Which I failed to do. Oh well, it's not meant to like show off the absolute clout score of how I perform. That's why I got a C grade. Alright, so enjoy the ending everybody. Wu Officer, born in Chuan Ling in the Ling Ling region. <laughs> Ling Ling. A veteran officer who served the Soon family for three generations of leaders. He served as a cornerstone of the Wu military that went on to conquer the entire Zhongdong region. But Zhongdong was soon faced with an unprecedented dilemma. Cao Cao was leading his massive fleet down the Changjiang in a bid to conquer the south. The Wu army desperately needed a plan. It was here that Huang Gai and Zhou Yu devised a plan where Huang Gai would pretend to defect to Cao Cao. After making the necessary arrangements, Wang Gai snuck out of the Wu camp. When the other Wu officers saw Wang Gai deserting, they sought to stop him. Wang Gai was loath to fight his own men, but he knew that he must if he was to fulfill his task. Once he entered Cao Cao's camp, Wang Gai completed his task by launching a fire attack that in turn led to the annihilation of Cao Cao's fleet. Thanks to the efforts of Wang Gai, Wu achieved victory over Cao Cao at Chirbi. Wang Gai continued to serve Wu faithfully, commanding several subjugation campaigns against barbarian tribes. Good for him. Alright, so I'm going to stop the video here. Next part, we're still going to stay in Wu with one more officer, Xiao Chao. Goodbye everyone, thanks for watching.